Hello all. So let's start the quiz. The first question is: A transistor has dash. Option A: one p-n junction. Option B: two p-n junction. Option C: three p-n junction. Option C: option D: none of the above. A transistor has two p-n junction. One is the emitter base junction, and the second is the collector base junction. So it has basically two p-n junctions. Here the correct answer is option B. Next question. The base of a transistor is dash doped. The base of a transistor we have studied in the transistor theory, uh, the, the regarding the basics of the doping of base, emitter, collector, and all. So, a base is a middle portion. Emitter and collectors are the other terminals. So, uh, how it is doped? Option A, heavily doped. Option B, moderately doped. Option C, lightly doped. Option D, none of the above. Base of a transistor is always lightly doped. So it is a general case when uh, we dope the base lightly and we dope the emitter heavily and the collector is moderately doped. So here the correct answer is option C, which is lightly doped. Next question: the element that has the biggest size in a transistor is dash. So we have already discussed there are three elements or three terminals uh, that are emitter, base, and collector. So which is the largest uh, in size? Option A collector, option B base, option C emitter, option D collector base junction. Here the correct answer is uh, option A collector. Collector is the largest in size, so that is the correct answer here. That is option A. Next question: In NPN transistor, the current carriers are dash. Option A acceptor ions, option B donor ions, option C free electrons, option D holes. So we generally talk about electrons as uh, current car carriers and electrons and holes are current carriers. And because of the flow of electrons only, uh, we can create current because hole is an absence of electrons. So we say electrons are current carriers and in NPN transistor which we have already discussed that is electrons uh, flow from emitter to the collector side to create a current. So here the current carriers are obviously the correct answer here is option C which is free electron. Next question a transistor is a dash control device. So this also we have discussed in the beginning of the transistor video. Here the options are option A current, option B voltage, option C both voltage and current, option D none of the above. Here the correct answer is current because we have discussed bipolar junction transistors are current control devices and field effect transistors are voltage control devices. So here a transistor we say uh, generally a BJT as a transistor and we say FET as FET itself. So a transistor is a current control device. So the correct option here is option A. Next question which is the sixth question. Emitter of a transistor is dash doped. Okay, so you might be knowing this from this uh, from this time because uh, we have already said in this video itself that emitter is a heavily doped site. So here the options are option A lightly, option B heavily, option C moderately and option D none of the above. Emitter is the, uh, the area or the terminal where uh, doping is done in heavy, heavy mode. So heavily doped region is emitter. And the, due to this, the electrons will start flowing from the emitter side to the uh, collector side. So here, the correct answer here is option B, here is heavily. Next question is, at the base emitter junction of a transistor, one finds dash. So we have uh, already discussed there are two PN junctions, a base emitter junction and base collector junction. Okay, so the options are option A reverse bias, option B a wide depletion layer, option C low resistance, option D none of the above. Okay, so we have discussed that a base emitter junction is forward biased and base collector junction is a reverse biased. So uh, when talking about the forward, forward biased region, it is having a low resistance and reverse biased region will not conduct current and due to that it is having a high resistance. So out of this here, the options which is matching this question is option C low resistance which corresponds to a forward bias in general case. So that is the correct answer here. Most of the majority carriers from the emitter dash. Option A, recombine in the base. Option B, recombine in the emitter. Option C, pass through the base 
to collect a option D none of the above. So we have discussed that the from the emitter side the electrons will start flowing from the emitter to the base and some will recombine in the base region and then uh, since the size of the base is very less and also since the base is very lightly dropped only few electrons will recombine in the base region rest will flow towards the collector region so here the correct answer is pass through the base to collector because the recombining in the base is completely not possible since it is very lightly doped and also it is very very uh, si uh, small size so due to this it will pass through the base to the collector so that is the correct answer here here option c is correct one next question the current ib e ib is dash 4 npn transistor so for NPN transistor, IB is the base current. So uh, what type of current is it? Option A, electron current. Option B, hole current. Option C, donor ion current. Option D, non-accepted uh, ion current. So here it is electron current because we have discussed in the NPN transistor. It is the flow of electrons which cause uh, current because most of the time we know electrons are the carriers. Holes are absence of electron, but we also say hole current. But uh, in the case of an NPN transistor, it is a electron current. Next question, which is the last question. So here the correct answer is option A, electron current. Okay. So next question is in a transistor dash. So it is a current equation from the options. We can uh, find it that these are the current equations. What is happening in a transistor? Option A, IC equal to IE plus IB. Option B, IB equal to IC plus IE. Option C, IE equal to IC plus IB. Option D, IE equal to IC minus IB. So here we know the electrons are flowing from the emitter side to the collector side. So the current is IE equal to IC plus IB. Because the current emitter current is the sum of the base current and the collector current. So the correct answer here is option C.